welcome back to my channel this is your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be quite different than my typical video I wanted to have an open discussion and open forum about this particular topic and I really want to know what situations and things you have gone through when it relates to this subject so guys we're going to talk about professional hair in the workplace like we want to talk about this. <laughs> Alright, so I really want to talk about this particular topic because I find it, for a, a lack of a better word, stupid. <laughs> I call it ignorant, you know, if you want to say that. That we still have to have this discussion about what's professional hair, who's making the professional hair rules, and what's, I mean, why in 2015 uh, are we still discussing this particular topic? So... Guys, I'm I'm coming to y'all raw today. I've been to church. I'm in my flannel. I'm chilling. Um, it's Sunday evening, and I wanted to hop on here and make this video. So I hope you all respect it. I hope you all enjoy it, and I want your feedback. So definitely engage me when it comes to this particular video. So basically, uh, one of my uh, friends um, tagged me on Facebook in a website posts that share 25 hairstyles for the workplace. They were 25 professional hairstyles for the workplace and I was featured as one of the particular hairstyles, you know, so thank you. But it started a discussion on what's professional hair, who's making these decisions, and I kind of wanted to find out what my audience thought about this particular topic. So for me, I really have not dealt with much criticism when it comes to my natural hair in the workplace. When I decided to go natural, I this was in 2010 when I did my big chop and I was the only brown skinned person in the office that had natural hair. So um, I do work, <laughs> for those that don't know, I do work, I do have a corporate job. Anyways, I remember when I first wore my natural hair in the workplace and the people that I thought would have negative remarks did not. Um, I really thought that my counterparts, I really thought the Caucasian community um, would have something negative to say but they were the ones that really loved my hair. They were like, oh my gosh that's your hair, how does it curl that way, how do you do that? They were intrigued by it. They loved it. And I, and I remember my boss at the time really didn't understand why I did it. And she was actually, of um, um, she was a brown skin lady. <laughs> and I remember she was just like, well, why did you do that? Why would you do that? You had such nice relaxed hair. Why would you cut your hair off like that? Why would you wear your hair like that? Does your husband like it? She just could not understand the fact that I wanted to embrace the way my hair naturally grows out of my head. And you know, that's that's fine, you know. You don't have to get it. I understand that. Not everybody's going to like the way natural hair looks. But for the majority, everybody loved my natural hair. So I leave that job and I took another job. And I remember going for the job interview, I actually found myself wearing my hair pulled back in a low bun, uh, very sleek for the job interview. And I remember my mom, she was actually like, how are you going to wear your hair? And I said, I think I'm going to wear a bun just to be on the safe side. So why is it that I have to feel that way? Why did I feel as though I needed to wear my hair a certain way in order to be able to have a chance for the job? Uh, I should have been confident enough in my ability to do the job and the fact that I was professional and the fact that I do carry myself in a professional way regardless to how someone may view my hair. I should have been confident in, in that but I wanted to be safe. I wanted to be reserved because I didn't know how they would view my hair if they would have seen it in its natural state. So I did chicken out and I pulled my hair back into a bun. I did get the job and for the first couple of weeks I, I did just wear that bun. <laughs> I remember washing my hair and slicking it back into the bun for the first couple of weeks at the job. And then I remember that third week 
I came in there with a twist out and I got so many stares but the reaction was oh my gosh your hair is beautiful your hair is huge your hair is long I didn't know you had all that hair they really loved my natural hair I actually had a man ask me why did you wear your hair in your bun why did you wear your hair the other way and I said well to be honest I didn't know how the office or my boss uh, would view my natural hair so I wanted to be safe and wear my hair pulled back so thinking back now that's a dog shame I should have not had to have felt that way or or even did that but I did and I regret it um, because they love my natural hair. They are always intrigued on Mondays how Sydney going to wear her hair this week. You know, they are impressed by the fact that I'm so creative with my hair. They have found out about my whole YouTube and natural hair beauty blogging situations. They are proud of me in a sense because I'm doing this. But then on the other hand, they don't understand why is it a big deal. They don't get why natural hair is big for us. They don't understand it because, you know, they, of course, have always worn their hair how it naturally is, where we have conformed and adapted and wore our hair to blend in with them. So my thought is, and my question to you is, what? who's considering what's professional for the workplace when it comes to our hair? Are you going to tell me that my twist outs unprofessional or my elaborate updo is unprofessional? Are you going to tell me that my wash and go is unprofessional? Are you going to tell me that my locks <laughs> are unprofessional or my hair color is unprofessional? I want to know who's writing the rule book on professional hair. Is it because the hair is not gone with the wind fabulous and flowing when you walk that's not professional is it because my hair ain't moving my wash and go is stuck <laughs> is that not professional i mean i just really want to know what are your thoughts who's who's making these rules on what's professional hair and what's not professional hair have any of you ladies dealt with backlash in the workplace because of your natural hair I want to know that. I will say that there is one gentleman at my job who likes to make slick remarks. He'll make little comments like when I have my bun, because uh, I wore the same bun on Friday, and he come around the corner talking about, yeah, looking like a bird's nest. <laughs> and you know, at first when he would make these comments, because this isn't the first time he's called it a bird's nest, I would just kind of laugh at all, hee hee, you know, and then I'd go back to my desk pissed okay just ragging on them in my head and uh, I remember wearing my hair in a wash and go and so some of the ladies were like oh my gosh your hair is beautiful I I love the way your hair curls and then here he come do you need a hat you want a hat today you know make a little slick marks like that so I have learned to speak up for myself when it comes to him and I quickly shut that down now he's he still makes his little remarks but I know how to come back at him so there may always be someone that's you know got just has something to say you know they just gotta find something to say to you or about you that's just how life is but I want to know, have you all dealt with backlash? Has your boss told you your hair is unprofessional? Has someone told you that you need to style your hair different? Has anyone told your kids at school that their hair is not appropriate? Like, I've been reading the stories about dreads uh, being un unprofessional, as well as uh, kids wash and go being, being told that they're being unkept and getting suspended from school. I mean, it's just getting ridiculous, the stories and things that I'm hearing in, in 2015, two seconds away from me in 2016, and we're still going through the same type of ignorance. I mean, seriously, people, like, <laughs> I just have to laugh, because I'm just like, that is just pure ignorance to me. Like, who, who is making these rules? Who is deciding what is and what is not professional? Is Becky's hair professional because it's straight and it's silky smooth? 
is Susan's hair professional, even though she has a little purple and uh, pink streaks in it. Who's making these rules? So I just kind of want to know your thoughts on it. Have you dealt with any backlash? Let me know below. If you did, how did you overcome it? I want to know because I, I think that there are women still dealing with this. And I want them to see your comments below so they can know what you did to overcome it. What action did you take? Did you go to HR on them? Is it HR tripping? Is it your boss tripping so you don't know what to do? Are you wearing a wig because you don't want nobody to say nothing? What advice would you give somebody who is dealing with natural hair problems in the workplace? I say we need our money. <laughs> We need our check at the end of the day. We need a check. We need our jobs. But at the same time, you don't have to be belittled. You don't have to be degraded because of your hair. There is a way that you can speak up for yourself and do it in a professional way. Uh, you can ask them to point out where in your handbook, where in our work manual does it say that my natural hair is unprofessional. Ask them, what, what do you consider to be professional? Can you tell me that? Uh, boss lady, boss man, Mr. or Mrs. HR, can you tell me what is professional in the company's eyes? Please tell me that. That's what I would say back. There are ways that you can come back at them. I've heard of people getting let go because of that. And I, I promise you, if that was going on at my job, you would hear about it on the news because Timmy would be a millionaire because I've been in the suit. Everybody up in there. <laughs> Seriously. This is a topic that people deal with. And guys, if you appreciate this type of video and want to see more of these off the top, random topic videos, let me know. And yeah, so just be on the lookout for the next video, guys. So thanks for listening to my rant. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. Take care, God bless, and peace out.